Hello everyone, this is Akuchi, back with some more Dominion. I'm going to be playing my third league match of the season, up against Hakka 3. Uh, Hakka has agreed to play with Extra Rising Sun and the Like List enabled. And that's good for me to get more familiar with these Rising Sun cards. I'm not sure if I've played with all of them yet. I certainly haven't gained all of the Rising Sun cards yet. I definitely haven't played with all the Prophecies, so... I still need to become more familiar with these cards. All right, let's see what we have to start. We have River Shrine for trashing. For draw, we have Enchantress and Imperial Envoy. Also Magnate. Then we have Bazaar, Good Harvest, and then Marchland. So there's also Gladiator and Fortune, potentially. We definitely want to open with the River Shrine. I don't think it makes sense to open <laughs> with another Terminal. I mean, we can avoid it with Way of the Pig. So, we're definitely going to want to play with a pair of Enchantresses. We're definitely going to want to have a Silver. There's definitely a question of, like, what order do we want those to be in? Ultimately, we are going to need to afford, like, a 5-cost card. I think that's going to require... A silver. But I'm opening Enchantress because as player one, it's really good if you see Enchantress like on turn three and it hits their the River Shrine or turn four, right? You have like two opportunities to cancel out their River Shrine trashing, which is very nice. We'll have opportunities with the River Shrine to gain additional Enchantress and Silver. And just our bias. Yeah, unfortunate. That was always a risk. So, if I do afford get 5 next turn, which is very unlikely. Wait, it's impossible. Okay, well I'm just getting Enchantress and Silver. There's just no, no, uh, no two ways about it. I guess I could have gotten a second River Shrine. So now the question comes up of whether we should get a third Enchantress or a second Silver. I think I like a second Silver. We're going to really need... Like, it's not like there's strong payload here, you know? Hmm. This is a bit tricky. Our opponent got a bizarre. When did that happen? Turn three. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely good. And they got the trash two estates, so they're in a very good spot. So if we play Enchantress, we can trash two cards and get a bizarre. But then we're gonna have some bad cards. In the queue. Hmm. It's a tough call.
It's a tough call. I think... I think I want to play another action on the next turn, so let's just do that. Hmm, not ideal. We probably want a second bazaar. Then we can get Imperial Envoys. Of course, it's unfortunate. Wow, we have two Enchantresses down there. I've seen better luck before. I don't mind getting a third enchantress. Should we instead get a gladiator? Hmm. Unclear. Maybe I should have got an imperial envoy there. I assume my opponent will be playing an Enchantress. Yeah. Definitely awkward. Magnate. Baffling. Come on, please find me a bazaar. Why Magnate? Like you need Imperial Envoy. Oh, I guess Good Harvest provides plus buy, but not this turn. I guess it might. Okay, I see. I see. If the plan is to play River Shrine, this makes sense. So Bizarre is the only plus actions. Definitely want to make sure we get a good number of those. Our opponent did not play an Enchantress, which might be bad for us. Depends what we find here. This is so frustrating. I really want to trash, and I really want to play Enchantress. I can't do both. Ugh. So if I keep the copper, I do have eight, eight coins. I don't care about that.
Interesting. They mostly got there. Oh, that's a very good turn. Much better than I have. Okay. Do I even need to play that Imperial Envoy? Is it worthwhile? We have a Snake Witch down there. We have another Bazaar. Okay. That's all fine. So we should get a gold, definitely. All right, so we have five coins plus whatever we play. So we have up to 14, somewhere between 12 and 14. Okay. I could just get Golden Province. That does not thrill me. Could get Gold and Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball is definitely not exciting. But it's not terrible. We could get gold and two silvers. Hmm. That seems fine. Or two golds.
Okay. Uh, we can't activate Snake Witch, so that's fine. Okay. And we can trash if we want. Let's think about our money. So we have four coins after paying off debt, and then ten, eleven. So we have fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, we can just get two provinces, I guess. It could. We probably need to get two provinces, so. Trash one copper. It would be nice to get another enchantress. Alas. I don't think we have the money for it. Yeah, let's just get two provinces. Yeah, I guess Hakka can just safely take two provinces, huh? This was my start, huh? Well, that's not a good start. I mean, this has got to be a province. If it's not, I'll be happy. Okay, I'm happy. Hmm. Well, this is a very unfortunate set of cards. Uh, actually, let me... Let, uh, I just wanted to do that. Okay, so now we can do that. And that, and now... We can do Marchland, get a bunch, and at this point, should we just get the duchies? Right. How many of that first magnate draw? Three. Yeah. Magnate was pretty good for our opponent, I guess. Definitely not too impressive.
Mostly the early game went against me. Part of that was my riskier open, I guess. Our opponent has a 2-5. Approaching army. Okay. Oh, and Kitsune. And Ninja. That was faded. Okay. A lot of stuff going on here. I definitely want to play with Transmogrify. Our opponent's going to open Hagler or Kitsune. So in terms of trashing, do we have anything other than Transmogrify? I'm not seeing it. I mean, Ninja is certainly good. So there's merit in opening Silver Ninja. But boy, is Transmogrify good too. And we do have multiple villages. There's not many great targets for Transmogrify. We can get some Aristocrats at some point. Mostly it'll just be silver until then. I don't think the ninja attack is going to be super impactful. Now, I will be ninja attacked at some point, which makes Transmogrify worse. And we should be using the terminal space. Fine, I'll get Ninja. I better not draw an estate here with this Ninja. I just... This game is very frustrating. This sucks. I wonder if I should get Hagler. There's so many four cost cards I want. I'm going to go for it.
I get port or caravan? No, transmogrify. Duh. Duh. Yeah, this was just abysmal, just absolutely abysmal opening. I feel like I need another transmogrify. Now I might draw a transmogrify dead here if I play ninja. I might draw Kitsune dead if I play ninja here. But this is just a nothing hand, you know? Okay, well, we're opening River Shrine, I assume. I mean, Great Leader is just amazing. It's not great if you play River Shrine, though. No, oh, Great Leader. I misunderstood. Great Leader is whatever. Uh, I mean, we could open research, but I think River Shrine is going to be better. Root Cellar River Shrine is kind of interesting. It's fine if they collide. I feel more comfortable opening Root Cellar if there was a way. But there is no way. We are going to need to be able to afford 5 cost cards. So that points me to silver. Maybe opening Root Cellar is correct. Okay. How do we build here? I feel like Alley is generally worthwhile. So next turn, we're going to have probably f three or four. So we're probably just going to get another silver. At least our opponent didn't trash two estates.
I do not know how to play this board. That's a problem. I'll use Alley next turn, I guess. Fortune Hunter is fine. I suppose the thinking there is... is that it's going to be non-terminal. So next turn, we can afford a 5 cost. Not entirely sure what that should be. Ronin is pretty good once you have Great Leader. So I think Ronin makes the most sense. Actually seems really good. So we can, like, full draw, pretty much. And we have two silvers. Uh, we don't have plus buy, I don't think. So none of that really... It doesn't help that much. Like, we need a Joust. Maybe we should have got a Joust. Unclear. Has our opponent not been able to trash their estates? Seems that way. Hmm. Well, we've definitely gotten the luckier hand this time around. So what do we get from Joust? Probably Renown. Domain looks pretty good, too. I think it does make sense to put a river shrine on top. Do 
to the order of the bottom. We can trash two copper. We don't really need to, <laughs> but we can. Like, why bother, you know? We've got a good thing going. Tanuki. Tanuki is away. Doesn't get a joust. Wow. What? Oh, he hasn't gotten a Ronin yet. Yeah, Ronin's amazing. We don't need to trash any cards. We can. We don't need to. I'm not sure. Think about next turn. If we have... What's its name? Renown. We can have up to 11... And everything costs two less. Uh, it seems excessive. Anyways, that, that worked well, but let's just trash one card. That seems like plenty. Good to get Domain also. And we'll get everything we can next turn. Because we're going to get a Province and a Joust, which will cost 9. We had way more than that. And we can probably trash one Copper this turn. I'm pretty sure we can. I don't know if we want to, but we can.
They're just going all in on Tanukis. It'd be wild if I lost with Joust. I mean, at the moment, we have plenty of draw. But maybe... We need to prepare... Like, we... I mean, I plan to get... What do I plan to get next turn? Domain. And maybe huge turnip. Oh, I could get Coronet, potentially. That doesn't super help. I think... With Domain, that's so many buys. And then... Should we get a Tanuki, or should we get... Another Joust? So this, then the other Joust gets us what? Huge turn up, maybe. I th think it makes sense. We have a lot of reliability here. I think, I think I'll just Get the joust. It's a little bit weird to go without Tanuki. Well, this looks good. Maybe we even just draw up the alley. Yeah, I think I can get behind that.
I think if we just maximize VP on this turn, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I don't think it's possible for our, our opponent to be able to overcome, like, if we have four provinces. And some extra VP. Oh, they gained a joust. Oh. 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 I hadn't considered that. They can take domain. That really limits my options. Oh no, I could lose this game. I didn't think about the midturn gain and play of domain. Oh, I think I've lost. Shoot. We can't duplicate our buy at all. So all we can do is buy two provinces, and I don't think that's good enough. I think I lose. That's freaking frustrating. This, I can't believe we lost this game. Wow. Shoot. This is so frustrating. Oh, I just didn't even see that line. I don't know what I'd do if I see that line. Like, I'm not sure if there's anything I can do on my previous turn that saves me from this fate. Oh, this is phenomenal. I mean, I just straight up lose if my opponent buys a province. I probably lose now. But at least it's not quite as obvious. Uh, so it's trivial for my opponent to get two provinces. So I just need to not... I, I can't touch province, basically. Um, is there anything... I can do. We need to take away Coronet, obviously.
Um, yeah, we can potentially... We, like, we can double Fortune Hunter, but that doesn't matter. Like, none of that matters. So our opponent has three Tanukis. Yeah, I mean, they almost certainly have it. Uh, it's hard to imagine a path to victory. I guess I'll just take the payload options away. I mean, he's got two run-ins. I don't think draw is really a problem. Yeah. It's hard to imagine draw being a problem. On the other hand, Corsair is its own payload option. Yeah, it's hard to say what the best, like, denial pick is. I just can't take away both Corsair or Haskarl. I guess I could have done that instead of Coronet, but I mean, Coronet's really good too. My opponent almost certainly has it. I think... I think we take away Haskarl. We might have the worst season ever recorded. That's what we're on track to have. Feels bad. I just did not see that my opponent could have gotten domain there. Is there any counterplay? We were ahead. And then we lost. So... That certainly suggests that we did something wrong. Like, maybe we should have gotten Tanuki uh, on our turn 7 instead of Joust. Right? Because I gained... Yeah, I got Joust on turn 7. That probably should have been a Tanuki. And then at least I would have had more more options. I mean, I guess I could have taken Domain first instead of um, 
Renown, but obviously Renown is um, pretty valuable there. That was well played for my opponent. I really goofed that up. I don't know if I could have. I don't know if I could have won by taking domain over renown. I kind of doubt it, but I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent. Ooh, credit souk. That looks good on turn two here. I think a 2-5 would be really good, because you could get credit souk, just trash all your estates, well, if you had the goat with your two hand, and pay off all the debt on the next turn. Hmm. So I think ultimately we're going to want to play with forge souk and daimyos, probably. Is Poet even good? Like, do we even want to increase hand size? Maybe not. Well, hmm. Yeah. I'm not convinced that I do. Shop is fine. But Pixie's probably better. Pixie can potentially decrease hand size for Souk. Oh, we can also credit for Forge. That's pretty nice. Uh, 
Oh. But we do need plus actions from some other source before we can do a forge into souk play. Obviously Daimyo can play a role there. Yes. Wait, what's that? Get seven, loses four coins, loses three coins. I see. Okay. If we get a forge, the thing is we've trashed all our estates, which makes forge less good in that situation. We could go pixie daimyo or something. Just see where that leads. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I do need the daimyo. Oh, great. The absolute best thing you could have gotten. If you have a souk in hand. Okay, goat costs two. Thinking about forge things, that's good. We only need to forge once, really. Ugh. The goal is to play a bunch of daimyos and then souk with zero cards in hand. That's the goal. I don't know if we can reach that goal, but that is the goal. Of course they get that. Of course. Why? Why not? They didn't have to have that souk in hand. Yep, you ready for this? Oh, I actually found something. Well, that looks fine, I guess. You know what's not fine? Not finding the souk. I don't think I need a forge anymore.
There's no way to discard cards from hand except Pixie. If I draw my Pixie, should I even play it with into Daimyo? Playing Soup twice is not bad. And there are quite a lot of I mean, there aren't a lot of good boons left. Earth's and forest is gone. Those are the best. Sky is not great. Sky is definitely decent, but it's not great. Hmm. Should we get two daimyos? Okay, those are no good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I lose. I don't think I really care about that. Alright, so if we have 15... Doesn't seem to matter too much. Might as well just get all the daimyos, right? Normally, Will-O-Wisp is good. All right, so where do we go from here? I guess we can get more... Sooks, but... If we get more Sooks... Hmm. Unclear. Really not sure where we go from here. I guess one more souk is probably worthwhile. Then we can actually get in a completely empty hand. And then if we play 
Hmm. Yeah, it's awkward. It's definitely awkward. I think this is the maximum number of buys my opponent can have at the moment. Whereas we can have seven. Oh, the boons reset. That's neat. What was the last one? Mountain's gift? Okay. If we get like forest gift, we could potentially win. Or even better, if we got Earth's Gift into Forest Gift. No, it doesn't quite work. Oh, nice. Shocking that there's no way to discard a card from your hand. You can trash it. But you can't discard it. Yeah. Force Gift and Earth's Gift allow my opponent to stretch beyond six buys. I don't really know how to translate my position into a win. Getting one more souk to trash all of our treasures definitely makes some sense. Doesn't really increase our number of gains, though. Getting six provinces might be winning. I wonder if I can do that. Six times seven. Is 42. I need 48. Hmm.
Yeah. I think I'm a little short there. I wonder what that province was for. What was my opponent scared of? Weird. Well, I definitely can't win this turn, so we might as well do this. Okay. So buying an extra souk definitely seems correct. I don't think my opponent's going to have a very good turn. A pixie seems better than a cabin boy, but if we can get enough cabin boys in play so that the following turn we can like get a province that might be pretty good too and I'm a little bit nervous about lowering pixies My opponent does have two cabin boys in play, which is important to keep in mind. So I think I get three. I'm thinking this leaves me safest. Hmm. I think I'll dime you the pixie. So I get it back next turn. The hope is to get five of my daimyos on the final souk, which will be 42 coins, which is great. What a weird end game here. My opponent try to go for piles. 
I'm not sure if four Pixies or three Cabin Boys is easier, though, especially if you get the plus four coins. I think Pixies are still going to be easier than Cabin Boys. Now, if I'd lowered to four, maybe I could have even lowered Cabin Boys to four. Oh, going for it. I mean, it can't be automatic. Oh, there's Cabin Boys and Pixies. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I thought Sook had to be involved. Uh, Yeah, I could lose here. I could definitely lose here. It's not a guaranteed by any means. But I could lose here. Why didn't I think about that? Hmm. Maybe I should just got one cabin boy. No. probably within reach now. Pixies are so inexpensive. Uh, that's on me. That was dumb. I can even forge one of the last cabin boys. One more pixie left. It's not 100% clear to me. That they have it, but it seems very likely. I just really wish they didn't see that forest gift. Earth gift. Maybe they don't even have target. I don't have targets for Earth's Gift, so it's completely useless for me. My opponent has a goat. Just a single goat. So yeah. I would have rather seen them get Earth's Gift than uh, Forest Gift. For a couple reasons. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, actually, Daimyo on Pixie doesn't do anything for me. It's still probably correct, but... If I have another turn. Oh, they can also credit for a cabin boy. They've got to have it, right? It's just not even much money. They just have to find a way to decrease hand size. With two provinces, it's not like they can decrease it much. Why did I... Not think about Cabin Boy and Pixie as the two piles. I was like, oh, Cabin Boy Sook is just as hard as Pixie Sook. I never gave it a thought. I never gave Pixie Cabin Boy a thought. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, they got to completely pay off debt like that. Oh, that's that's so bad for me. I didn't realize that interaction existed. That's like new Rising Sun debt rules stuff. Being able to pay off debt at any time lets you do that, as if Suk needed more. Wow. Okay, whatever. Not Field's Gift. Not Earth's Gift. Those are the two I didn't want to see. So they don't have that. But they do have 
two more daimyos, and a souk, which should be enough if they can forge enough cards out of their hand first. I guess they can trash stuff. Like, they don't even need to gain anything. They could trash a shop and a province, you know? Having the cabin boys in the discard doesn't help, by, for sure. All right, so... Oh, they're thinking about putting the cabin boys on top. Because that'll be an additional thing they can do to decrease hand size. But they that's only if they have the souk and both daimyos in hand, I think. Or I guess they could shop. They could play the shop to play the cabin boy. Yeah, that seems... If they have shop in hand, that seems like a no-brainer. I think they can end up with just... Yeah. Yeah, I just super misplayed this. I'm so dumb. But do they have the forge in hand? That's the question. Because if the forge is in the bottom two cards, then I might win. But if the forge is in hand, I lose. I guess it has to be the bottom card, exactly, the forge. Assuming they have shop. What would I have done if I had seen this? Maybe taken just one cabin boy? Even one is, like, more risk than I would want, potentially. Maybe taking a town crier or something stupid. I don't even know. They must not have all their key cards in hand, otherwise they would have already done this. Right, they might have a Daimyo bottom deck. They definitely need to play both Daimyos into Souk. So if Daimyo or Forge is the bottom card, I think they can't get it. Not positive, but I don't think they can get it. Oh, they can Forge just a Cabin Boy into a Cabin Boy. That's something to keep in mind as well. And they will have two provinces in hand, but that's not too many. They can still get good money from that final Souk. They don't need much money. Oh. What a dummy. If I take just one cabin boy, there's no way my opponent can do this. Even with perfect draws, I think. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Yeah, no doubt. I did not expect to see that time, yeah. Uh, I realized what I should have done last turn. I should have gotten a gold, a forge, and then some cantrips. Because then I could have threatened six provinces by trashing, instead of the souk. Because I can forge a gold and a um, goat into a province. 
I guess I probably still draw it up. Mm, yeah, it may not quite be enough. Maybe I get the Suki in the province. And then I forge the province into another province. There were, there were lines. It sure doesn't look like a win. Yeah, why didn't you just do that from the beginning? Okay, did they draw the forge is the question. If the forge is bottom decked, I don't think they can win. They clearly have both daimyos. But why didn't they play the second cabin boy? That I won't undo. Or won't grant an undo for. Shouldn't they have played the second cabin boy? I feel like it's a lock if you have shop in hand there. Well, actually, no. Yeah, no, I think it's a lock if you have shop in hand. You play Cabin Boy, then you play Daimyo, then you play Forge. Oh, no, 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 you needed to forge the Cabin Boy. That's right, that's right. It all makes sense now. You need to keep the Cabin Boy in hand to forge it. Hmm. You can forge Goat into Pixie without that. So maybe that's enough, right? Cabin Boy, Cabin Boy, Daimyo, Forge, Province to province, pixie, or uh, goat to pixie, daimyo, souk. And that souk would grant quite a lot of money and get you up to four, six buys. You'd only need eight, 12, you'd only need 12. coins. You get one from the shop. 12 is actually a lot of coins. Never mind. Maybe it's not possible. Now if they've drew forge, it should be possible, right? Because then you only need 10 coins. You need your souk to make yeah, they should have it. Province to province. Or you can go cabin boy to pixie. Cabin boy to cabin boy, go to pixie. Then you need two less. They should have it. Alternatively, you just trash double province and cabin boy to clear your hand out. That also works, I think. Although it would have been better the other way, if you forge into Cabin Boy. I can't believe I misplayed like this. That is so freaking stupid. Uh, well, I definitely deserve to demote. Why is this taking so long? Is that really the correct play? I don't think so.
Yeah, that was definitely winnable. That was not a good game, but whatever. I messed up, and then I got messed up in the execution test. Ugh. All right. We've got rapid expansion with the Mountain Shrine. Mm. What's a rich card? A rich scheme. Yeah. We could go Scheme Mountain Shrine open. That looks decent. Not really in any rush. To do anything else? Mountain Shrine is probably the draw. Are there any attacks to gain? Uh, remarkably, no. With a different open, we could open Alley Mountain Shrine, which seems good. Uh, but we can do Alley Tunnel stuff, which is good to know. And then King's Cash for Payload. Artist also draw, of course. This is pretty great. What to do with five? We could get uh, a wine merchant. Um, is that good? It helps us spike border village, I think. Yeah. We could also get mountain shrine. That could be better. Uh, this looks pretty good. No alley here. Let's go ahead and Mountain Shrine into Border Village, and what? Could go Band. Or we could go Wine Merchant. It's nice having some plus buy, I think. We can get plus buy from Band of Misfits as Squire also. Uh, yeah, I kind of like... the flexibility of band. My merchant's not bad. Especially because we can use it to get an artist. Okay, I'll get a wine merchant. We might get an artist here. It's a tough call between wine merchant and band. Oh, we're about to rapidly expand. That's nice. Uh, starting a turn with an artist is, on the other hand, not very nice. This is not great. Mm. 
I guess I'll go band here. Oh wait, isn't this always going to be an issue? Wow. I think I like Wine Merchant a little better. I'm, I'm seeing a vision here. Watch this. I think I like Scheme to actually be played here. And then Alley. Hmm. No, we don't have the plus actions for that. No, we did. Let's find one of our others. Ow! Unfortunate. All right, but check this out. I think I want to get my wine merchant back. Hey, you get to do all the things. I was wondering about that. New debt rules. Rapid expansion. How nice. Well, we're looking good this game. We probably need to trash. An action card. Hmm. Yeah, they they do have plus buy, right? Why don't they have plus buy? I'm not sure. All right, let's do that. And that. Should we otter? I think I'll otter. Because I'd rather have two wine merchants get down. Okay.
Yeah, this looks great. Thinking about the tunnel. Let's go for it. Yeah, we have another artist. Yeah, we're in good shape here, for sure. We should not have picked Border Village with our scheme, that's for sure. That was a mistake. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it. Ah, I was so good. I just freaking misplayed. Ah. Need to remember. That was, um, okay, remember, remember that interaction in the future. I think we'll get all the border villages. I mean, we can get like three border villages on our turn, probably, maybe. I mean, our opponent can get two of them here, so they they should, I would think. So piles will be a little bit low. But there's no third pile that's particularly low. Wine merchants will be a little low. Oh, wine merchant isn't a unique card. For my artist, that's interesting. Hmm, I might be overestimating the amount of draw I have. It was definitely the wrong scheme target. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not even gonna have Border Village as a unique. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, um... This is interesting. So, first things first. One of these. Uh, one of these. Oh, I could otter it. And then I'd really have the draw. How valuable is it? Oh, our opponent left three border villages. Well. That does make me want to... This gives me, like, multiple cards. This gives me a lot of draw. This Ottered Wine Merchant. I think it's correct to Otter. Okay, and then this one... We probably also want to otter. But we can just otter at these other border villages, that's all fine. So we can... Do that. Do that. Wait, what? Oh, the gold got set aside. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I hadn't realized that. Oh, the downside of rapid expansion becomes clear. Well, we're definitely going to be playing these two wine merchants, right? Might as well do that. See where we're at. Eleven. Yeah, so we have 11 right now. We need at least 12. We might as well maximize our coins. I mean, we're going to get 12, certainly, with Mountain and Shrine. But we can't get, like, three Border Villages plus Hardest anyway. And so we can only really take advantage of three buys. That being the case... I think it makes sense to do Band of Misfits as Squire gaining silver. I mean, we could gain the gold as well with Alley. Oh, no, we can't do that. Ah, shoot. I need to not trash. Okay. I forgot about that. All right, and that will be Squire. Play. Gain silver. And actions. Do all that. Okay, that's what we needed. All right, so let's go ahead and get Border Village, Wine Merchant, Border Village. I kind of like Wine Merchant, because I can use one of them. All right, and this scheme should definitely be something 
unique. Maybe a scheme. Yeah, that's easy enough. And then we pay off two debt. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh, right, and we have the silver and the gold as unique, so this will be a super... Super overdraw type situation. Probably we gain provinces on our next turn. Opponent drew very easily. I think they might have done the... Yeah, yeah, okay, they gained scheme they, to get an extra unique in play. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I need to play any of those wine merchants as otters. I think we can just play them all as wine merchants. Since we have both a, a gold and a silver as uniques in play, which is a pretty good place to be. We can do that in a future turn as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's easy to get good artist draw when you have rapid expansion. We can even buy, like, a copper. And then we can use border villages as otters. We're we're a real real good shape in terms of being able to have deck control. We'll need to look to see if there's a a win. Tunnels is an interesting potential. And Mountain Shrine is another one to look at. So our opponent has three wine merchants, so we have five. That's six buys. We can get up to eight with um, Band of Misfits as Squire. Then Artist is going to be low. But this costs 21. So if our opponent gets like a border village here, they probably won't. But if they got a border village and wine merchant, you know. Yeah. Okay, so our opponent... I don't 
think they can get four provinces, right? Oh, they got a mountain shrine, not an artist? Interesting. Oh, they can scheme an artist. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so the question is... With one debt, can our opponent threaten four provinces? We might want to play around that. That'll be tough to play around. Our opponent didn't really get any more like capabilities. They repaid six dead and still had enough to buy double province squire and more. I don't think they can quad. I don't think they can quad. I'm not 100% sure of that, though. Oh right. Do we have a win? Was a was a thing to look at. Almost certainly not. Uh we need seven of our buys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't have a win. We do not have a win. So what's our play? I like Doing the squire, gaining the silver. I think that sets us up nicely. Hmm. I don't think my opponent can get four provinces, and if they can, they can probably win by other means. I don't know. Yeah, I don't need to lower artist. I feel like I can just scheme an artist. I could even buy a copper. So I'm thinking province, province, duchy, squire, band, copper. 
that's going to cost me... I'm going to have a, not have enough for that. Maybe we... Hmm. All right, what's province, province, duchy? Ugh, my brain isn't working at full force. That's 21. 23 with the squire. Okay, we have... We're looking at 26 up to... 30. So we have in between... Uh, 20... Eight and thirty. So that's twenty we bought another five. I think we want to keep... I guess we could get a scheme as well. That That's probably correct. So we can double trash. Squire scheme, copper, double province, duchy. Alright, I think this works. All right, so if my opponent can quad, they win. If they can't, I probably win. Because I can quad. I can, like, super duper 100% quad. Maybe... Maybe my opponent can quad. And maybe could I have won without taking that other province? I'm not sure about that. I'm certainly getting giving my opponent an op a, a possibility. It's definitely tough for me to overcome four provinces, though. Because if I have, like... What if I take a duchy instead? I have 14. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Especially with tunnel. Yeah, I think I goofed. I think I could have left five provinces in one. I think I could have done it. There's also the line for one of us to trash in action with Mountain Shrine.
Huzzah. Looks like I may have avoided defeat. Oh, I get a second silver in play, which moves away from artist. Whoops. I mean, it's fine. I'll live, but it is a thing to be aware of. Did Haka need to play that as, as a whatever you call it? Honor? Hmm, maybe. Trashing a border village to make the mountain shrine activate could also have been an option. Maybe there was a line there. Maybe that doesn't work for Haka. Yeah, I mean, this is super over for Haka. You have to hope I don't draw, but hmm, that seems uh, highly unlikely. Maybe I could, yeah, if I get a Mountain Shrine instead, that's potentially, instead of a scheme, that potentially lets Haka pile out, cost 26, so if they had 30, they could get a Tunnel. Mm, I don't think that's enough, because I had, I was, had a lead of 5 points, so. Yeah, I probably could have got the Mountain Shrine instead of Scheme. That would have been a little better for me. Because I would have had a Silver as a Unique. Of course, I also could have just played the Squire in such a way just to keep myself plus by. That would have also worked. Many options. These boards have been quite, quite fast, quite strong. Extra rising sun. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to maximize these artists. Yep, copper artist, I assume. Mm hmm Okay, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. And then that guy can be, let's make this guy actions. We'll do that, we'll do that. And we can make this guy. Squire for buys or whatever. Okay, we already have the scheme. Okay. And then we can mountain shrine. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we had some money left over as well, so we probably probably shouldn't have risked. I mean, maybe there was a risk, maybe there wasn't. We should probably have left five five provinces. I think I pressed the ready button. I'm a little confused about what's happening. I'm going to try to refresh. All right, I have to create a new table, but I think we're good to go. Now we're good to go. No landscapes. Okay. Oh, we both have the five two. Man. There's no way to trash those curses, is there? Okay. Uh, if we hit 5, which is likely, but not guaranteed, I'll get a swap, I think. Otherwise, I'll get an experiment. <clears throat> swap experiment is just, like, great in general. Womp womp. Uh, okay, we could get a second fishmonger here. Along with like a town crier. Pretty sure... Experiment's better at the moment. And here, I, th I think I just don't even trigger the shuffle. Fishmonger's kind of good, but you can always, like, get a gold mine, I guess, if you prefer.
Yeah, whenever you have swap, you can always like get the plus buy back. So what's the game plan? The game plan is to play Old Witch until there are no curses left. Get some swaps. Oh boy. Then what? Well, this is way too good. Like, that's bonkers. Our opponent shouldn't be able to do this. Uh, we can't win from there. We can't win from there. They did what I wanted to do. No! This is like the worst possible outcome. I don't even want to play this. Like, it's just... It's not even good to play, you know? Here we are, with our swap doing nothing. Oh, it does do something. Neat. I suppose it has to be an aristocrat. Then we can do that, and get some more experiments. Mm. Hmm, I think we've lost the game now. So we could play Fishmonger to get, like, another swap, but whatever. <laughs> So where do we go from here? I don't know. I suppose the second aristocrat is better. Than an old witch, in a way. Now that the curses are out. Hmm. Now, if our opponent doesn't. Okay, well, we might as well play an experiment then. Great. It's like, do we even continue the turn, you know? We could. Oh, we, we definitely should. Well, that's not clear. I might actually want to stop here. These are like all our good cards, you know? I 
That was such a bad shuffle. Can you please play an old witch for me? I lost the curse split, the 17,000 to the two. At every turn, our goal is to keep the experiments at zero. That's our goal. Come on, you play an old witch and this is the turn I don't have a curse? I have so many curses. Not fair. Not fair. Even if we have four more experience, experiments than our opponent, we're still behind because we have four more curses, which are minus one card and also minus one VP. So there's that going on, you know? It's not like we can sneak a win because we're just so down on VP. It's a rough time. Ooh, that's another experiment. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to... Buy two sets of experiments. I'm committing. How do we do that? Hmm. How do we accomplish these lofty goals? Oh, actually, that's no good. I think we're just kind of screwed. Hmm. Yeah, we goofed there. We just shouldn't have even played our experiments. Um... I don't think we have a swap left. Yeah, it's a problem. It's definitely a problem.
Yay. Okay. That opens up by Dutch you get a tie, Lions. But our opponent's like actually doing stuff. Question is, will they be able to get all those experiments? But if they don't, will I be able to? Probably not. do have multiple buys. Let's go. I'm mostly just treading water. We probably need to get a gold mine and gain gold to make any forward progress. Because we can really only play like one cargo ship a turn for the most part. Let's go. We have only four curses left in deck. What a thrilling, thrilling series of turns. I mean, Hakka's got, got a gold, so... And two fewer curses, so they're clearly ahead. But they're not way ahead. Their turns are still pretty lame. Town Crier. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Keep on keeping on.
that's it. That's the end of the turn. It'd be nice to have one of our 17 cargo ships, you know? It would be nice. I couldn't get yet another cargo ship, but I couldn't get all the experiments. I don't really want that fishmonger down there, do I? This is all of our swaps. Yeah, this is a pretty bad place to be. Pretty bad place to be. What is that library going to do? <laughs> With an increased hand size. Seems weird. Seems weird to me. That's a lot of swapping going on. Oh yeah, they can end the game. That'd be great. I forgot that curses are empty. Hoping to find another experiment. Did they find it? <laughs> what a world. What a game. <laughs> if my opponent doesn't win here... I have no chance of winning because all my swaps are gone. But it is funny. I see, there was a gamble there. There was a gamble. If 
Kaka was keeping track, they'd know there wasn't anything to worry about. Look at that. That's fine. If my opponent can win, they win. You know what I'm saying? I'll I'll leave one experiment in the pile, you know? That'll that'll be my compromise. All my cargo ships bunched up. How fun. Yay, it's over. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, that Daimyo game. That was interesting. The Joust game. I can't believe I lost that Joust game. But then we won a couple games, and then... Yeah, what a world. All right, well, we're still super way behind. We've got three more matches. There will be more. Until the next one.